If you want to manage content easily without writing any code, then content management systems or CMSs are the driving force behind any website. Collections, as they're known in the no-code world, have become pretty essential in deciding which no-code tool is right for you. And Wix Studio have just released some fantastic updates that I think you're going to love. But before we dive into those, let's take a look at what CMS is and how Wix Studio stands out in particular. No-code tools in general have really changed the game when it comes to content management systems. I don't know about you, but I remember when it used to all be about just input fields and writing the content and having to publish those changes to actually see them live. But now content editors can literally see the website and edit the text in line and see how the design is impacted by their changes right there in the interface. I honestly think this alone is totally taken for granted because it used to be a horrible experience updating content on a website. If you're a fan of the channel, then you'll know I love exploring new no-code tools. And I think maybe beginning of the year, last year, something like that, I was really excited to do a stream on Wix Studio, which offer a really interesting package for both medium and enterprise level websites. I was particularly excited about Velo, their JavaScript-like language, which enables you to not only interact with the front end of the website, but actually create back-end APIs. And the really exciting thing about that is you can build those APIs into public APIs. So your website can consume the same data as your app, as an example. And it's stuff like that that gives me the confidence to build, to know that whatever challenge comes on my way, the platform is there to take care of it for me. Wix Studio is doing something really, really interesting with two aspects of their designer. The first one is it's taking care of a lot of the responsivity for you by automatically scaling up and down items, giving them a fluid experience. And something else called docking, which gives you a really Figma-like experience where you're able to drag and drop things wherever you like on the canvas. And once again, the responsivity and relationships between elements is just taken care of by the tool itself. And if this is something you can get used to, I think it can save you a lot of time, particularly those beginners that don't quite understand responsivity just yet. Now, before we get on with the updates, let's take a look at the CMS itself, because this was one of my top points in my initial review of Wix Studio, because it has an Airtable-like experience, uh, which is really, really user-friendly. And I think enterprise teams specifically will enjoy that experience, basically, because it looks like Excel. And you can create different views for collections, which again, is an Airtable-like experience. I really like that. And I just think this is super useful for demonstrating in different types of collections, maybe one that's more image heavy. And you can access the CMS from multiple areas depending on your role. Admins can add fields, structure collections, and content writers can focus on editing. Here's a CMS collection that I made during my stream. I can reorder these items and they'll display in that order on the front end. It's such a small feature, but it's incredibly handy. And when creating a new field, you'll see familiar options plus some advanced ones like multi-images, which can be reordered, and even JavaScript objects and arrays. Multi-reference CMS lists are also here, but without limits, unlike other platforms. And I really like this, actually. So if you're starting a new collection, you can import from a CSV, you can start from scratch, or you can even use AI to generate one. Let's, let's create a little collection of uh, enthusiastic chipmunks. Back in our review collection, I'll add a new reference field to those chipmunks so they can select their favorite chipmunk. Let's talk about how you implement that in the design. So you drag in what they call repeaters, and this is like a WordPress-like language. I really, really like this. And you combine the data to that then. You can add filters, uh, drop elements in that you want to display that data. But one limitation remains is no nested repeaters. Please, Wix, we really need this. But if you want a dynamic page for each CMS item, that's easy to set up too. You can start with a template or from scratch and use any CMS values in your design. Now onto the big updates. Wix Studio has massively increased their limits. Kind of putting the rest of them to shame, to be honest. The Plus plan now supports 20,000 items, double what it was previously. And in the Elite plan, 500,000 CMS items. Collections are also boosted to 1,000 across the board, far surpassing Webflow and Framer. With these updates, I think Wix Studio has really taken the lead when it comes to scalability among no-code platforms. Check out Wix Studio in the link below and let me know if you're already working on a Wix Studio project or if you what you think your next project might be using Wix Studio. Thank you Wix Studio for sponsoring this video and until next time, happy no coding.